Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video. Uh, before I get to anything, I want to apologize for not having my review up of the Halo statues that I had mentioned via uh, social media yesterday. I, s I posted up a picture of Master Chief and said, hey, my first Halo review tomorrow! And then I didn't get the video posted today. A lot of stuff going on. Um, it's not just the tax time stuff, it's... Uh, it's the Patreon type stuff. I haven't mentioned the Patreon account in the last two P.O. Box videos. So it's been a couple weeks since I've talked about it. There's a couple of changes that I made. A lot of people ask me, hey, what's with the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man thing? Uh, that was supposed to be just for patrons. Actually, no. I actually had a goal set to, uh, to uh, 164, I think. And once I reached that goal, then it was public. So that's what I'm doing now for the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man uh, skits. Uh, if you pledge one dollar or more a month to the Patreon account, then what that does is you get guaranteed access to the Big Time Letdown Spider-Man compilations. Because the next benchmark may be uh, so high that it takes a while for it to go public. So that's what I'm doing. Um, the Patreon thing is going well. Thanks so much for you guys helping. I'm doing a couple other things now too, where I'm giving give I'm doing giveaways. For people that are contributing $20 or more a month, you're going to be entered into a lottery to receive uh, an action figure that's worth $100 or more. So I'm doing that, starting off with the Armourauders Bellerophon. So there's only three of you guys that are on that list at the moment, but um, and it'll be a couple. It'll, it'll be a little bit until I announce the winner for that, and I will announce that. Also, I'm going to do giveaways for people that are pledging $5 or more. $5 or more a month to the channel. So I'll have giveaways for you guys as well. Uh, I've actually already spoken, uh, briefly spoken to a couple of companies about them actually providing figures to give away for my patrons. So that'd be like a separate thing from my collection. It'll just make sure to give you guys incentives to help support the channel. Because to be honest with you guys, it's rough. Uh, I know this whole thing just started out as 100% free, but this is something I decided to keep as a job. I wanted to make my career out of this, and as you guys may, guys may or may not know, I actually already got a second job teaching drum lessons three days a week in San Francisco. I'm teaching drum lessons at Guitar Center now, so I'm doing that, which helps. Still not necessarily enough. Um, there's, I have plans that I would like to see happen, and... Um, I, I had a little vacation this last weekend and, and it was great and I'm teaching drum lessons to a lot of kids and it's not, and, and the idea of me and Charlita One having kids has come up numerous times. We've talked about it plenty even before we got married and we want to have kids. I want to be a dad one day. I think the, I, 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 whoever that kid is, hopefully it'd be a boy, would really appreciate getting a ton of figures. Uh, you know, being around a lot of music. I mean, I think I would make a pretty cool dad. I love being around kids. I'm teaching drum lessons to a lot of kids, and it, it's it's like uh, kids uh, trip me out, man. I, they 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 uh, they crack me up. Um, they can be a little frustrating sometimes, but it's so worth being around. You know, these kids are like you teach them a drum beat, and they all have their own little style. There's just one kid that will do this thing where he goes. Dum, 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 dum like really get into a groove and all of these other kids you know they'll have their own groove and have their own way of getting into it so it's adorable to watch so what I'm getting at here is I'm not doing this patreon thing for greed alright I'm not doing it because I want more toys give me all it's not like that I don't have a hard time getting figures alright it's about making a lifestyle out of this YouTube channel I put so much work into this thing I've already put a lot of work into it that I feel a little self-entitled, you might say, but I don't really think it's self-entitled as much as self-worth. It takes my time to make this stuff. Hey, guess what? When I go to Guitar Center and I teach drum lessons, people pay for my time and knowledge. Same kind of thing I'm asking about here. I'm asking you to pay for my time and knowledge and entertainment that I bring to this channel. So, if you want to stay around, please check out the Patreon account and be a part of the channel and keep it growing. Uh, for kids that are under 18, talk to your parents. You know, maybe it's like a, like a buying a Blu-ray or something like that. I would want your parents to be in charge of the Patreon account, not you in any kind of way, because 
Patrons that send five dollars or more get exclusive rant reviews, and those include cussing and stuff. So I don't want to send links with all that cussing and everything directly to minors. It would be your parents. So talk to your parents and ask them if if they would be interested in contributing to this entertainment that you enjoy. All right. I think it's fair enough. I respect myself to the point where I know that I'm worth it. Okay. So it's just a matter of you whether you agree with it or not. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't really like the videos that much, well then yeah, I understand, alright? Or if you got other things that are much more important like college or mouths to feed, yes, I understand. But I'm talking about for those of you that could contribute, it would be much appreciated if you do so, alright? Because I applied for another job today and I didn't want to do it. And I, I didn't want to do it, but I applied for, I used to work for the government and, um, I, to be honest with you, it made me very depressed. So I applied for a full-time job for the city of Menlo Park, and um, I'm really hoping I don't get a call back. Uh, I, I, it, it, um, yeah, my my wife and my mother, uh, the two people in my life, are most concerned with me uh, really pushing hard to keep the YouTube channel thing going. Um, it, they, they're they're concerned for me because they're like, if this isn't really going so well, you got to do something else. And I'm like, well, I am doing something else. I'm teaching the drum lessons, and it's not out of them not having respect for what I'm doing. It's just that they're just worried about me. And um, my mom came, met a friend that had an opportunity, and she said, you know, hey, you should go for this. You've been saying that, you know, Google hasn't really been paying YouTubers so so well lately. I'm not the only YouTuber who's talked about this. Maybe you should go for it, you know. This opportunity may not come again. So I spent spent over three hours today, you know, filling out that job application. And that is why the video didn't go up today. That's why my Master Chief video didn't go up. That took so much more time than I thought it would. It's been a while since I applied for a government job. So um, I'm hoping I don't get it. I want to keep this job. I want to keep doing this instead of... Um, you know, being a city planner. I, 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 I mean, city planning is cool. I like it, but I don't love it. This I love. So I hope to keep doing what I love for a living. And uh, especially if I want to start a family and stuff, I have to think, like, well, realistically, you know, if I'm kind of struggling right now and I don't have any kids left, that I don't have any kids yet, it's like, what kind of future am I bringing to a kid, you know, where I'm already, you know, barely making it by before the kid's born? I want to have a cushion for the kid, you know? Kids got to eat, kids got to have clothes, you know, kids got to have backpack and schooling and all that stuff, man. So I got to be practical about it and I may have to quit doing this. Like, it's just going to have to. Be, it, I don't want that to happen, but it has to. It's going to come to, to something, you know what I mean? So, and for those of you who, and I actually, one reviewer uh, came to me actually, you know, saying, hey, what you're doing is messed up, YouTube is supposed to be free, that's not up to you to decide, and it's not up for me to decide, it's up to YouTube to decide that, and the fact that they're cutting things down big time for YouTubers means that they're telling us to look for other work, basically, find money somewhere else, so... You know, it's not me doing it because of greed, again, it's because I'm being put in a situation over here and I'm trying to make the most of it and I'm trying to hang on to it for dear life over here because I want to keep doing this. I love doing this. And the fact that the couple of companies that I already talked to about, and I don't want to name names with that because nothing's really solidified, I've just got getting the conversation going about setting stuff aside and sending stuff my way just so I can give to patrons, that is incredible. That is awesome. So. I need your guys' support. They're willing to give their support. I need your guys' support, too. I'm really serious about this. I'd rather keep making videos. All right, so let's get to the... I'm sorry, Mando. I'm sure you're waiting for me to open your package. It's been a long time. So anyway, Mando Commando over here sent this letter. And I think this is awesome already because uh, you got that mohawk going right over there with the drumsticks, and I think that's awesome. So there we go. And then I'm not sure exactly what that is with the Fantastic Four <laughs> beanie. Well, what what is that supposed to be? But yeah, but short short art all over the envelope. Let's go ahead and open it up, and I will be have uh, and I will be have I will have Walking Dead. I think you've asked about the Walking Dead stuff a bunch of times. But anyway, nope. Excuse me. All right, let's turn this uh, let's turn this around. This is, oh right on. Ooh, cool. What is this? Oh, what a Spider-Man penny. 
Nice! Universal's Islands of Adventure. Cool. It just fell right out. i got to put that right by the desk. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh my god! Speaking of the desk, okay, I'm going to share a story after I read this because I feel bad making you guys wait. Alright, so here we go. Uh, this is actually a very funny story, okay? So, if you've been sticking with the video and I've made you feel a little down, this, this story will cheer you right up. Uh, if this letter doesn't do it. And it says, oh my god, and that's the other thing is I'm so behind on these letters. This says, HAPPY SHORT AND B-DAY RUSS! How's it going, man? I just got back from Orlando and I had a blast. Went to a concert called The Night of Joy in the Magic Kingdom. Checked out the superhero headquarters store in downtown Disneyland or Disney and picked up the Marvel Select Mighty Thor. Thanks for the influence. That is an awesome figure. And finally went to Islands of Adventures. And I love the Jurassic Park and Spider-Man rides. I want to go to Orlando for that, for, for Disney World. That would be so sweet. Um... Uh, pick, oh, picked you up this cool coin. Here's another frisbee and coaster. And I remember you wanted to see Mission Impossible instead of uh, F4. So here is the limited edition IMAX ticket. And finally, I have been saving this masterpiece of mine for you. It's a concept art Autobot that I would like for you to name and keep. Oh, wow. All right. Oh, shoot. Okay, so. Oh, this is the. Okay, this is the exclusive IMAX. Is this still valid? Uh, oh, okay, it's not valid at all anymore, but, oh, that's very, very cool. Thank you so much. Very thoughtful. All right, put that right there. And the, oh, and we have the coaster. Right, oh, okay, okay, here's the, okay, I'm going to finish the letter. Um, uh, uh, please excuse me if this letter is, if this letter is uh, longer than expected. I will be leaving for North Dakota in October, and I return back to Florida in December. Oh, wow, you'll be gone for a while. I will be getting my very first official job. I will also be turning 16 on November 24th. I think I was 15 when I first, uh, when I got my very first job. It was a city government job. <laughs> Alright, I hope you have a great birthday, man. It's 2 a.m., 9.19. Anyways, let me sum this up. Take care of us. Questions. Have you seen uh, Lazalza 1's Stop Notion? I don't think so. We are good friends, and I convinced him to add Boba Fett. Um, what are what are you most looking forward to in the upcoming Star Wars? I just saw recently uh, that uh, if you're talking about in the oh in the upcoming Star Wars movie, I want to see Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, and uh, and Harrison Ford all in one shot together again. That will blow my mind. Um, what do you think would and if you could throw in a Chewbacca and R two D two in there, please and C three PO, that would be great. Uh, what do you think uh, would have happened if uh, Shane and Abraham were both present when the governor attacked, uh, TV version. I think if Shane was around, he would have taken out the governor, uh, oh wait, no, Shane was around during that gov governor part, wasn't it? If Shane and Abraham were both present, oh, but Abraham wasn't present. Um, I think Abraham still would have followed Rick. Yeah, I think Abraham would have followed Rick still. I think Abraham's, uh, Abraham's definitely one of my favorite characters. Uh, P.S. Uh, don't read out loud. Okay, I'll say that later. And uh, all right. Thanks, Gus. All right. From Russ. All right, man. Thank you so much. Or to, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I got my words all stuttered over here. And we got this coaster right over here. I'll open this up. Thanks so much, man. And, oh, it's an Iron Man. Yeah, that's right. He said, and he said that he also sent, or this is the Frisbee. All right, cool. Got the Avengers. Oh, we just got Iron Man. And Captain America. Very, very cool. And we also have... So this is a Transformer he made up, and he wanted me to name it. Um, yeah. I'm going to call... Wow. This is so cool. All right, check it out. So I'm going... What name should I name this? There's a lot of wrinkles, so I'm going to call him Wrinkletron. <laughs> very cool, though. It's pretty beastly, though. Oh, it's more like a mole. Kind of reminds me of... A mole with the long hands right here, you know, for digging. I don't know, Molebot or or uh, Molemus. I don't know, maybe Molemus Prime. Yeah, kind of reminds me more of a mole. Molemus Prime. That's the name I'll, I'll name him. Super creative there, wasn't I? All right, this one's from Juan from uh, Walnut, California, and it's got a turd on it. Yeah. Thanks so much. Oh, and it's got a big time letdown Spider-Man right there on the back. Sweet. All right, so. Um, 
Yeah, the story is I was drinking my coffee the other day and uh, coffee went hit right back in my throat, very hot, without any chance to try to adjust the trajectory. I did a spit take all over my laptop, my my Bellerophon, my Masterpiece Star Scream, my Bandai uh, Darth Vader. Um, uh, just uh, about, oh, my flash drives, my SD cards, I spit coffee everywhere. Oh, on the wall, on the Secret Wars black suited Spider-Man, everywhere over there in the office room. It was terrible. <laughs> I thought it was actually hilarious, but I was in a mad panic. I cleaned everything up, I washed everything with water, not the laptop. I, I, I cleaned, I, laptop I fixed right away, I, I wiped up right away. Oh my god, I see some good shard here, shard art here already. Dear Shardimus Prime, aka Russ Aiken, how's it going, bro? Recently, I've noticed that you are having a problem with your Figma Iron Man when it comes to the chest. I own this figure as well, and I also noticed the same problem. If you guys had seen, I talked about how it kind of has like this little spotting thing going on in the chest. Um, it is probably some kind of paint defect, or maybe if it's left in sunlight for too long. That could be why that happens. Anyways, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I have the window right over there, so that could be it. P.S. One topic I felt hasn't been touched upon in a rant video is lack of ankle pivots in action figures when they break easily or not much paint or articulation on figures. Sorry if I sound like a douche. Uh, no, you don't sound like a douche at all, man. Um, I did just do a rant review for the Patreon account, though, uh, about Hawk, Hot, Hot Toys Hawkeye's ankle pivot. And it says PPS, if you're, did I read the PS? Yeah, I did. And then it says PPS, if you ever visit LA or are ever in West uh, Covina area, I definitely recommend you check out Frankenson's Collectible Show. They have been uh, tons of awesome stuff there. It's basically a collectible. Yeah, I'm familiar with Frankenson's. I've always wanted to go to Frankenson's. It just looks really, really fun. It looks like a convention. Then we have some shard art over here and Mark II War Machine. Cut out of Mark II War Machine. Looking really cool. Nice and glossy. And then we have some shard art. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Juan Gomez. I got to throw this up on the fridge. Look at that. <laughs> Except I don't have the beanie on. But it's got that crazy smile, though, right? It's a crazy person. Yeah, I'm losing my damn mind. But thank you so much, Juan. This is awesome. Thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, I have two more things I'm going to open right up here. Uh, this one is from uh, West Sh M. I race West uh, Weathersfield, Connecticut. Weathersfield, Connecticut. And I have not been to the P.O. Box in the past week or so, so if you guys have sent me anything, uh, please be patient. I will get to it. I, will, I do read everything that comes in the mail from the P.O. Box, so uh, yeah, I just need your patience if, if I haven't gotten to it yet. Alright, let's get into the letter. we got Batman right down. And, oh, okay, this is bagged and boarded nicely. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my god, no way. Oh, shoot, no way. All right, it says, uh, Dear Shirt Miss Prime, hey, my name is Mike, and I am a big fan of your work. I made you this comic book that I would love for you to read when you get a chance. It's not... Uh, it's not a really good quality, but I spent all day on it for you. My first question is, which movie did you like better, X-Men Origins or X-Men 3? Oh! Ah! Uh, X-Men 3. X-Men 3. Um, my last, uh, both, uh, my last question is, uh, do you, that was the first and last question. Do you think, uh, or second question, really. Do you think Kill Bill 2 was a good ending for Kill Bill Movies. Uh, did you went to? Uh, did you want it to end differently? No, I loved it. I thought it was great. I, I, I love Kill Bill one and two. I like watching them both. I watch them both back to back. That it's meant to be like one movie, isn't it? I mean, I know they're two separate movies, but I feel like it's just one movie and told backwards and you know Quentin fashion. Uh, well, that's all. Thank you for your time, and please enjoy the Marty McFly figure. It's not as good as the Hot Toys version, but it's still hella sick. Keep up the truly hilarious videos and good luck on your new job if you got it. Uh, if you didn't, I'm sorry. From Mike. Thank you so much, Mike. It really means a lot, man. And we have a three three quarter inch bale Batman right over here. Cool. Thank you. I think it might be shorter than three three quarter inch actually. And then we have the Marty McFly, and I'll show the comic off in a second. Oh, 
This is uh, Marty McFly is Star Lord. Wow, I haven't seen this one before. Oh, I think I have. This is the one where he has this little function where the mask comes up. Cool, cool, cool. And then this is what's really tripping me out over here is he wrote a Shardimus Prime comic. YouTube Comics Group. Why don't you save us too? <laughs> Sorry, got what I wanted. And it's a bag of new Marvel Legends. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Look at that. A Shardimus Prime comic book. That is too awesome. So that's me swinging away and all these people saying, why didn't you save us? And I say, sorry, I got what I wanted. And I got a bag full of Marvel Legends right there. And then on the back, there's this little bio right here with Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Shardimus Prime is a fellow toy collector on the... I'm trying to read backwards, basically, but it says, uh, on the website known as YouTube, he reviews mostly Marvel Legends and his totally hilarious videos. He's a very kind guy who gives back to his followers with toys and collectibles and makes subscribing to him fun. Oh, thanks so much, man. That really means a lot. And I cannot wait to read this comic. Uh, somebody last week had sent me something with a... a oh my god. This is so cool. Uh, I have to... Oh my... I'm really looking forward to reading this. This is so... I used to make comics like this with my brother all the time when I was a kid. And this... It reminds me of that. I, I can't wait. Alright, man. I, I'm. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright, this is actually one of the more creative things that I've gotten in the mail. I, I, I can't wait to show the wife this. She's going to get a big kick out of it. Alright, Mike. That is incredible. Thank you. Um, then last package right over here. It says, Do not bend. So I will not bend. And then tomorrow I will have the Halo review up. So that is coming. Um, and then Saturday, I'm thinking either... Let me know in the comments below. Either SH Figure Arts Thor or the Target exclusive Marvel Legends 3-pack. One of those two. All right? And whichever doesn't get reviewed Saturday, we'll have to wait till next week. And then Sunday, I actually will be doing a Walking Dead review. So I'm not sure if I'm going to review a figure or if I'm going to review the blocks. I think I'm going to review the blocks and then do a figure next week, too. Ah, oh, sick. Oh, man. This is... All right. Some more Shard Art. Hey, Shardimus Prime. I'm a longtime fan, and I watched and I watch all your videos. I'm an independent comic book author and a toy collector as well, so I did a little fan art for your gallery. Oh, I've also sent a digital version of the artwork to an email I found on your Facebook page, which I got and I have on my phone. Thank you so much. Uh, regards and keep up the great work, Leonard uh, Pertuzzatti. And his website is leozzt.com. I'll remember to put that in the description below. This is fantastic. I love this. That is so cool. Look at that. Ah, uh, uh, that is awesome. Yeah, squirting shark for the sky. <laughs> I dig it. Man, thank you so much. So yeah, check out his website. It's leozzt.com. Thank you so much, Leo. This is awesome. This is good. Some really good shark art today, you guys. Damn, you guys killed it. See, this is one thing I don't, I, I don't think I'll ever be able to stop doing this because you guys send so much love my way. How am I supposed to stop? Look at that. Started out bummed out. End of the video. Fearing cheer, feeling cheerful again. I really appreciate it. You guys do so much. I'm very, very grateful. You know, if worst comes to worst and I can't, you know, do videos every day, I'll still do P.O. Box pickup videos, man. You know, I'll always be here for that at, at the very, very least. If worst comes to worst, I'll keep that going. But hopefully you guys can help out with the channel. If you're able to be a patron, please consider doing so. Click the link below and also check out Leo's website. And if you want to send your letters and artwork to me, send them to Shardimus Prime P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California 94044. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.